Hey kids, are you ready for a story? Today we are reading a book, The Birth of Ganesha. And kids, do not forget to subscribe for more wonderful videos. Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati were peacefully residing in Mount Kailash. One day, as Parvati prepared for a bath, she called Nandi. She was mount and said, Please guard the door, Nandi, and see that no one should come in. As you wish, Mother, said Nandi, and took position outside Parvati's chamber. A little while later, Nandi saw Shiva's approaching towards Parvati's chamber, but didn't stop him. And Shiva entered the chamber. Parvati was very angry at this. She summoned Nandi and fired him. I had ordered you not to let anyone in. Then why did you disobey me, Nandi? She asked. Don't be angry, mother, Nandi said politely. I am loyal first to Lord Shiva. How can I come in his way? Parvati realized the truth in Nandi's words and forgave him. Then she thought, While there are so many personal aids to Lord Shiva, there are none to me. I need an aid who would carry out my orders and be loyal to me all alone. The next day, as Parvati was massaging her body with saffron paste, she had an idea. I shall create my own aid, she thought. Then she took some saffron paste from her body, shaped a small boy with it and breathed life into it. Parvati then asked Ganesha to guard the door and went to take a bath. Ganesha took position as an obedient son. After some time, Shiva arrived and was about to enter Parvati's chamber. When Ganesha cried, Stop there! You can't go inside! Hearing this, Shiva became furious. He shouted, Who are you to stop me from entering into my own house? And before Ganesha could say a word, Shiva threw his divine trident at him. In no time, Ganesha's head was hacked off. With a loud cry, Ganesha fell on the ground and lay lifeless. Parvati rushed out of her chamber only to find her beloved son dead. She began to cry inconsolably. When Shiva came to know the entire matter, he realized his mistake. But mad with anger, Parvati threatened to destroy the universe. Shiva then decided to bring back Ganesha to life. He sought help from Lord Brahma, asking him to bring the head of the first creature he sees that is lying with its head facing north. Brahma soon returned with the head of an elephant. Shiva fixed the elephant's head upon Ganesha's body. Brahma then breathed life into it and Ganesha was back to life. Parvati was overjoyed. She thanked Brahma and Shiva.
Brahma blessed the boy and took leave. Thus, Ganesha received a new life. From that day, he became the best among the aids and foremost among the gods. Even today, Ganesha is worshipped before any celebration or religious rite. Hey kids, did you like the video? Please subscribe for more and thank you for watching.